All right, yo, yo. Part three, part three, part two. Yeah, we know what happened. All right, I'm going to get the mic moved up here in a second. I just got to get this last glove on. I ended up snapping one, just putting it on a second ago. All right, let me get the stickies. So, per conversation, you said you wanted uh, me to put SGC or uh, DC on it. I, it's going to be hard for me to check a lot of them prices, like I said. So, if I put an SGC with a question mark on it, it means to just double-check prices. I mean, if it makes sense to do it, I, I would go with it type deal. So, hopefully that makes sense. DC, his thing's $5 a pop or more. I don't know what a lot of this stuff raw goes for anymore because I just deal with graded. So, unless I've seen it priced, I really don't know. All right. So, first one up. Let me get it out here. All right. This Bowman's Best Jordan. Let me click this off. I can get my chair repositioned. Ah! There we go. Uh, looking at this right off the bat, I see... Some scratch marks in the top right corner area in the bottom right. Overall, I mean, if you clean this card up, and when I use the word clean, so everybody knows, I mean a good wipe down. No chemicals, none of that stuff. Just some hot breath. A lot of this stuff that's on this card will come off. Um, let me look here. That back looks pretty clean, too. There's a couple of scratch marks on the back, too. I mean, I don't know. I'm going to put it under magnification. or magnification. So everybody understands. Um, PSA uses a 10 times loop. So what I do is I eyeball this, okay? And I look to where I see what's on. This is on a little bit higher magnification so that I can show people what I'm seeing. Because it's harder sometimes to show stuff. So, an example, when I was saying this top right corner area, I'm able to go up to it. It's a little bit higher magnification, but I can see this with my naked eye. So, with my naked eye, PSA is going to see it, okay? So, as you can see, right here are these marks up here. Um, they may come out. I do not know. But this is already going to dig you on surface. And this is the other issue I saw bottom side. Uh, let me see if I can get this out the refraction going in my face. Right. Uh, kind of hard to see. Right there. Those there I can see. And I'll try to get my finger coming in right around in there. So, I mean, overall, it's a really nice card. I ain't going to lie. If you gave it some tender love and care... I mean, I would maybe try to chance it at something. I mean, if I, I don't know what SGC prices do on this stuff. I know SGC 10s sometimes go around PSA 9 prices. So you got to play around and look at it. Um, the other thing I was worried about, I'm trying to get the show here. All right, see below the D right there, those bubble things onto it? I think that's in the card itself, like part of the a hologram. I'm not real sure because I'll show you what I'm talking about. When I see that, see how you see things there, like a shoe and stuff? I'm not too sure what that is below this D. But again, if you just wipe it down, it might be pretty good. Now, here's the other thing you're looking at. See right there by in between his legs? I know it's kind of perverted. You got some marks there, too. Again, this might come down with a good wipe down and come off. It's just, you know, excess chrome. I don't know. Um, I mean, you start looking. This stuff's really hard to grade. It's a beautiful card. I mean, if I was just going to buy something raw, I would buy this raw. I mean, I wouldn't pay a whole ton of money, you know, because I know how Raws go. But if I was a Jordan collector, yeah, I'd pay for it. Just goes in the album, you know. See right there below the light? I'll just kind of hit it. Now it's going to come off. You got a little more of some uh, chunky gunky, I call it. 
And up here where this basketball is, I believe this is like finger fingernail mark. No, I take it back. It scratches. I thought it was like kind of like a finger mark. But that could be just built up chrome onto your card. I mean, it's just one of those things. These are Chrome finest, or Bowman's best. Bowman's best, right? Yeah, Bowman's best. It's Chrome. I don't know why I was thinking finest, but like that one right there by his shorts. I mean, honestly, maybe you get five bucks from it from DC. The other part I saw. Where was it at on here? Somewhere. Okay, below the bull. Find the bull. See that in his arm right there going down, up and down? That I saw, and then these marks right here below the bull going left and right. Kind of like in a 45, it goes down. So, I mean, your surface is what's going to kill you on this right off the bat. Beautiful card otherwise. I don't know what you could do if you wipe it down. Um, it's just really, really... I hate using the word dirty because then people think it, you know, I'm saying it's unclean. Well, the card just needs some TLC maybe. I don't know. So I'm not going to mark anything on this one. I'm just going to put surface front and back. See video. Gosh, I hope this video works. Again, I'm going to put SGC with a question if those come out with an arrow. If they don't, I would not dead touch it. Because sometimes it's just build up chrome. All right, we got some Shaquille. Oh, sorry. I got to flip this down. I do have the pug down here now, guys. So if you guys hear anything, that's why. Shaq, Fleer Ultra, um, all-rookie series. This came out of Series 2. Because we opened so much of this stuff, it's not even funny. Maybe the top left corner might be a little soft, but let me keep going here. It could be just the way the light hits it. All right. So, Mr. Shaq. Corner one looks pretty decent overall. All right, let me go. This is where we want to look at. This Ultra Fleer looks pretty good. This is the corner I was worried about. Um, looks like a little bit of a print line right there. I don't know what they'll give on that. You see right there on the tip of the corner, you kind of see like a little white line. It's gone now. Now it's there. That's what I was looking at. But I mean... You do have some print lines on this, as you've seen right there. I hate when I have to say it, but right there between his legs, uh, a little divot, like he's dropping a little uh, turd ball. I mean, overall, it's a pretty clean card on the back. Or the front. Moving to the back, I meant to say. Oh, a little bit up there. I mean. Not uh, just a bend of his arm. I'll be honest, it's really not a bad card. Um, I would say it's probably going to come back a PSA 9. 
just off top of my head. I mean, now that I know where the divot is between his legs, I kind of a little bit see it down there. It's very, very faint. And just that little, um, so I'm going to put it on a very side here. Okay, right up here in this corner, once it maybe focuses. <clears throat> really hard to get this thing to focus. All right, so what I'm looking at here, I'm trying to keep as far away from the card, right up here. There's like this little bit of a white line. I think PSA would catch that. Maybe. Maybe not, depending on the grader. I would recommend maybe SGC in it, but I would look at SGC prices. Because you might get a strong SGC 9.5, maybe even a 10. I don't know. They, as I said, we see what they do with some of my stuff. And I'll show you what I'm doing here for your notes. Let me pull that down. I just feel more comfortable when I write this stuff on here. But it says SGC question mark. It means you got to pretty much look that up and uh, figure out where it's at pricing. Another Shaq, Skybox Rookie. Let me look it over here. Top right corner might be a little soft. I kind of see whiting on the bottom edge. All right, let's take a look at that bottom edge. Because that would be a killer for the way new PSA is. I hate when you gotta try to sneeze. So you can see it right there. The white that I'm looking at. As I said, I can see this with my naked eye. That whole bottom edge. The other issue I'm looking at. Eh, it might just be the way to, it looks like it's a little bit soft up there. And the only way I could really get it. Is right about well. As soon as I get to the piece, it's hard to hold it at it. Uh, maybe it's just me looking at it with the white corner. But with the bottom edge on this, you're definitely not going to get anything onto it. Again, this has DC at the bottom, but you need a little comp before you send it to them. Next card is a hoop. Yeah, hoops, Jack Rookie. All right. Right down here, it looks like it's a little bit lifted up on the edge. And I'm guessing they're going from centering off the picture, not the ball in this. Um, if they're going off the picture, top and bottom's a little off, and a little off left to right. 
It's probably within the deviance, but it's very, very close. Uh, all right. The back, I'm going to show you. I just got to find where I just saw it at. See right there to his right side and the red of the cheek going down? You got a big scuff mark. It's hard to notice here just because of the light being at the way it is. But when you're looking at it, there, right there, it goes down. You can see it pretty good. Um, Otherwise, it's not bad. I don't think you'd tend this through PSA with what's on the back. A little rough there in the bottom edge. And that's what I was talking about originally. Anybody ever watches these videos, if I post them, I don't. I'm not a big SGC grader. I just know they're a little bit more leading in some areas. He could be able to get 9, 5, 10 SGC on it. I just don't do a lot of grading with them. I just know if bat the highest he's going to get here is going to be a 9. We are in the Shaq rookie. Holy goodness. These are all Shaq rookies. All right. This is the. Oh, okay, I do have the camera up tops. Bottom left corner may be a tad soft. And bottom right. We'll take a look. I can see a little bit of a line impression onto them. It's mostly caused when people were jamming these into like books back in the day. And you also got a print line that runs on the bottom here. All right, so pull the camera up again. What we're looking at is this corners down here at the bottom. And with it being white going against a black surface, It might be pretty decent to try. Let's make sure we got nothing going on here. A little bit of a divot there in the two, but I didn't notice it until microscoping it, so... Let's just check because Shaq for some reason likes to have divots between his legs on every card. Alright. What I'm looking at here. Alright.
right there you can see the line and it goes like i said right there from his head to uh it'd be on your left side of it here the who's facing be is well i guess it is his left either way goes down through the emblem into the yellow very noticeable through the whole card ah i don't know Maybe PSA 9 on it. Light marks there. I didn't really notice them. But that one going through the uh, temps. Down. I mean, very nice card overall, but just that back has me worried with PSA. Good mark back has lines. I mean, your call if you want to SGC it, maybe. Continuing with lots of our shack theme. And I'm probably going to do these in a bunch of smaller clips just because of what happened the other day. A little bit of whiting on the edge right here. You can kind of see where my finger's at. Something right there, kind of like in the... Uh... Right, let's take a look here. Under scope. Take a look at some of this advanced corners. I mean, a little bit of white there, but it's really hard to notice it. I mean, honestly, I didn't catch that in my own eye. A little bit of whiting right there. In that black area, you can see it. I'll try to get up this way somewhat. Right there. And then here's your edge that I was really concerned about. You can see it right here. Well, I'll start that. If you look at the bottom right of the screen of the camera, you can see where it's starting to come into play right there. The whole way down. And then on the back, what I was looking at is somewhere by this NBA logo. Might just be the way the card is. Yeah, it might just be the way the card is. And this is that edge. It's on the front side. And I said it was looking pretty choppy. Looks pretty good, though, on the back. But, yeah, mostly the uh, right edge.
Right, all right. Moving on, Shaq again. Not two, not three. Fleer, Fleer, yeah, Fleer. These are painful because of the copper border on these, or brown, whatever you want to call it. It picks up a lot of stuff. Possibly a bottom right corner may be a little soft. We're going to look at them corners. I should note, eh, centering is not bad in the front. All right. I thought I was looking at it. It looked like it was a little off. So, corner doesn't look bad under microscope. Not bad. If you wipe the edges down, you'll get the boogers out. I mean, I have a feeling it's going to be PSA 9 or 10. You got a small chance at 10 on this. I mean, I'd probably take a shot at it. Go between his legs. Shaq likes to leave dinkies behind. For some reason, Shaq is famous for having divots between his legs. There we go. Yeah, I'd probably give it a shot. I mean, if they come back at like 15 bucks, you know, I'd probably shoot it and try it just to see. You never know. You might have one at a good day, it gives it a 10. Worst case, a PSA 9, but you probably would, I'd say, a small chance of a 10 on it. Then again, they could be greedy a day and say, hey, 8. But I, I would at least give it a shot. It doesn't have any major defects that I could see other than what I thought looked a little soft on corners, but under magnification, you really can't see it. This one here, I can tell you already, bottom left corner has white on it. There are divots through the surface, one here below the basketball hoop. And I just saw another one. I gotta figure out where the angle was at. Let me refocus my eyes, all right. Right up in here, there's a real little one too. But I'll show you this here. I would not send just because of once I get that white right there. Alright, Shaq Upper Deck Rookie. This should be the, uh, I think, one. I'm trying to remember which way it goes. I know once this trade card, I think this is the 1A. You have one that says trade card at top, one that says this. I think this is the regular rookie. These are hard. Bottom right corner white. Small. 
small line going down there. And there's a dent right there by his side. Back bottom edge looks a little rough too. So we'll look at that stuff under scope. So there's your bottom right corner, like I said, was white. I just got to get this somehow to show where I want to show you here by the 32. All right. I'm going to have to try to get my pen up high on this to kind of bring it in. Ah, I just lost it. Well, let me get this to rest just right on my hand. You can kind of see it there, the backward, like, check mark. Right there. And then this line here along your edge, if I can get it, right there. A little bit of edge issue too on the right hand or left hand side. And if I was showing you in the back, you see how choppy that looks in the bottom. Don't know if that's a known defect or not. I have not graded any of these, but very choppy bottom edge. All right, so front, you got a scratch right of number 32, bottom right corner, you got a line, left side, and then back bottom edge and I, I didn't have enough time to write or enough room to write but you also know the right side edge is a little bit choppy under scope that there I, I wouldn't even send a DC but your call ran out of room all to write on to it yeah I think I hit the last shack holy cow you got a lot of shack 92 draft pick shack all righty. Might be a little white bottom right corner. Let's take a look here. Get a pen over here. There we go. These are hard to look at. Uh, Stadium Club this year was notorious for marks. Edge looks decent for that year. Foil looks pretty good. That's always a plus. Especially that little thing right there before the 92. A little bit of a mark there between his legs. Ah. I have my cloth in my hand too. All right, let me see how I was looking at this. Bottom left. All right, there it is. All 
very minute white. A little bit of print line there in the back. Yeah, I try SGC with it in a heartbeat. So front very light small line back lines and then the bottom right corner very minor white Yeah, I mean, if you were going to really send one, it, I'd probably be the most comfortable right now with that one. All right, next one up here. Chuck along here. Roy Holiday, Bowman Chrome. Look, that's his rookie. I think it's his rookie. Maybe not. Looks like it's like his second or third year. Maybe I'm off. Got a couple service divots. Centering left to right's already gonna get you a nine. On the back here's some funky looking weird marks. I'm gonna see if I can do it without the scope here. Let me see if I can show it to you. See how this was the light comes down? Well, let me see if I can get going up. Like, that's my hand. Kind of hard to see. I'll see if I get in our scope. But the centering is definitely going to get you, and I'll show you some of these divots. Corner looks good. Just a little more reflective there. There we go. Right there in his helmet. Let me go this way. Right there between those two lights, divot. A little bit of a scratch. There's a smudge onto here, too. It could be wiped off. Well, I'm looking at here in the back. Let's see if we pick it up on camera. See right below this light, as I go down, you can kind of see the scratches to left to right. Well, when I go across the lights right there to the left, 
that's what I'm seeing uh, with my naked eye. So, like I said, though, the centering, the divots in the front, definitely a no-go for PSA. Unless, like, nines bring crazy money again. Remember, everybody was screaming PSA 9s are going to be the new 10s. You had to have seen that one to come true. I have no idea what you want to do with that because I'm not even close to prices if that should go DC or if you want to try it SGC. Yuck call. All right, now we got a Boomer. I've been waiting to do this card. Ooh-wee. Cheater. I know you want this done either way, so... I have fat bottom left corner. You can see it there if you're looking against the black of my glove. Let me go like this to get a little focus right there. Top right corner, top left corner, all corners. I don't know if that's a divot up there. We'll look at it. Definitely corners. All right. We're going to show you the corners of this, and we're going to look at the chrome pretty good. So as you can see, corner. That's the corner I just showed you against my glove. corner and right there's those two little divot marks i was talking about but you notice all this stuff on the chrome here that's the way this stuff kind of looked um back then and then that corner all right let me face it this way we're gonna go and look here ah cloth's caught there we go A little bit on the surface there, not bad. Right in there. Corner. Oh, that's not the corner I was looking at, this one. A little bit of white. A little bit of white, not much. All right, let's take a look at some of this stuff onto here. Not bad in the hollow. That's my thumb. It's on the edge of this thing because I got to lift it up because of the shine. Yeah, not bad. I mean, I'll set it in for you. I know you wanted to go either way. But it gives you an idea of corners and a little bit of surface scuffing on the front. I don't know, eight, five, six. I have no idea without looking at their chart. Jeter die cut. Oh. 
Bowman's best. And the thing is, these were rounded corners on this, so you get a little more of a variance. That was fuzz. Small line going right there. There's some indentions where somebody jammed this here and here. And that's mostly for them going like this into a sleep into a book. So we'll look at it in our scope. A little bit of chrome issue along the edge. Dang it. There we go. What am I going to lift you at to there? All right. Not bad in front. I mean, light marks. All right. This is the bottom, so I want to show you these. Yep. Got to find my pen is my left hand. Let me get the marks back up here first. There we go. So you can see in the corner edge. Oh, there's my pen right there and right here. It's hard to get these. Kind of could see it there. I'm trying to get it perfect in a light here. Right there, and a little bit up in here. So those two are where they jam the stuff in. These are so much fun trying to put back in the sleeves. There we go. Luckily, they have the rounded corner, so it's a little bit easier. Ah, pull my cloth. All right. So, front, minor, surface. Back, small, we're going to call them creases. I, I don't know what goes for raw. Maybe you get a couple bucks. Maybe you just put it up on YouTube for sale. I have no idea. All right, I want to do two more, and then we're going to cut this to so I get it processed. And luckily, next one is a Ricky Henderson rookie. Uh-oh. Strong Crosby. Uh-oh. Somebody got a Henderson. Um, honestly, I'd send this right off bat by looking at it in modern. Top issue there. Corners across the board. Some marks right in here. Centering. 
I'm sure you saw this. All the corners where, where. I'm not going to scope this just because it just has a lot of damage to it. I'll hold this if you still want to set it in just to have it graded. I mean, it might come back a three. I don't know. Maybe higher, maybe lower. But if it's just something you want graded just because it's Henderson's rookie, I say go for it. I'm not even going to mark on because I know what's wrong with it by looking at it. And we'll end off here with Mariano Rivera on this part. And I'll give my eyes a little bit of a break as I get this thing to process onto the tube. And then I'll start again. Oh, look at my eyes start watering after I start looking at these screens so long. All right. I would not send this in. Mark coming down here. Mark down here. Centering on the back. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's going to be probably easier under a scope. This is not an older card. I mean, it does sound like it is older in a way, but to where I would take a chance at it. But right there, you can see the little, I had it better. Hold on. It's that funky color here. Uh, do, 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 do. Where are we at? Arm. Okay. Dang it. All right. Let me go with his arm first. Trying to pull this. Goodness gracious here. Right there on his arm going down. Then you can see the other scratches right there to the left. That's the biggest thing I noticed. And then let me find the other one here. I got to look at it again. All right down here. I cannot see it under this. Let me see if I can pull it up without the thing. Well, I can't get the light. But down there, when you look at it, right to the right of my thumb. Let me see if I can do it again. Yeah, that's hard to see with this, but I'll send this back with surface issues to front. All right, I'm going to cut the video here, process this one. We'll get another one going shortly.